Hajau, hajau. Mm. So today, to right now I am, I cleaned out all of my oil rigs into this plastic container of Everclear. Share maybe. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry, sorry. Hey, Jordan. So now I'm going to pull out the rest of what we had cleaning, and I'm going to cook the Everclear off. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Lashawn, how are you? <clears throat> Hi, So, a few things that you are going to need to do this, obviously, Everclear, and a container, plastic container. There you are. And you can talk to me this time. Uh, wax parchment paper, silicone tray, and then just a cookie sheet. The reason why I use the cookie sheet is because it's easier. This thing is way, way, way flimsy. And it's got like holes in two, two sides of the stupid thing. We are going to cook down our oil so that we can add it to tonight's dinner. And I do have a couple of new recipes. So, can't wait to show you guys and get them up on the site. So I just use a regular container here. Let's see if I can put it someplace where you can see. Um, some dispensaries like to use these little plastic sheets. You've seen me use them in reviews. Once we get most of the concentrate off, there's still little smears. So we'll take it. Hey Barb, how are you? So we'll take it and just take the whole plastic thing and soak it in the Everclear just to get the rest of the concentrate off. So I have several of these in here. We smoke a lot of concentrate. <laughs> So these are all uh, different concentrates things. I'm gonna let those rinse off in there. Now I wanna make sure I don't have anything else in here, which I don't. So I already have my oven set to 300. I'm gonna take the Everclear solution. Now I have been collecting this Everclear oil solution for about three weeks now. So there should be quite a bit of oil out of here. You guys have seen the pictures of me doing this before. And so I decided to do an actual video on it so you guys could see what it actually looked like when we do it. Now, if you want, you can take a little bit of Everclear into this container, rinse it around, and then pour it in. Because I always reuse the same container, I don't do that. I just pour in more Everclear in there so that way I can clean off the containers. So now I'm going to parchment down as much as I can, just so that we, I can spread this out, and more of it's going to boil off quicker. So since my oven is already set, I'm going to go ahead and carefully put my pan in the oven. And then I'm going to slightly close the hood, or the door. Then I'm going to turn on my fans. The reason for the amount of ventilation that I want in here is not to cool the process down, but it is to keep any type of flame or any type of uh, exhaust that we're boiling off or that, that fumes from boiling off. That's the word I was looking for. Um, it's not catch fire. Because I really don't want to burn my house down. That would be bad. I don't need the uh, YouTuber outtakes to be my house going down in flames. Uh, I keep 
a digital thermometer like this on hand. Hey Heather, how are you? Um, so that way I can make sure that my mixture in here doesn't go too high. I do want, um, hi Michael, how are you sweetie? I do want to make it live in this particular case, but I don't want to do it too hot because I don't want to burn it. So I can take this in and shoot it around and see about where we're at. And so far we're at 133 degrees. Hey guys, how are you doing Heather? How is everybody in cyberspace today? I got my, my ears on. So I went to Walmart over the weekend and they had their ears on sale. Some were for Halloween, some were not. Um, so I found a couple new ears to bring home and wear. But they were cute. So we're going to keep an eye on this mixture. And I will bring you closer in so you can see. Once it starts to get to a boiling point, right around 200 degrees, you'll see a lot of little bubbles start popping up in the oven or into this mixture. And that's where you're going to start seeing that, that those vapors start coming up. Which we are just about there. So let's see if I can nicely. I'm doing okay. I have surgery next week. So I'm a little freaked out about that. Here we go. So now I'm getting you guys into where you can actually see what's going on in that oven. Look at that. Oh yeah. I know. I am finally out of the hospital. Um, however, because I am a cannabis user, uh, the attending physician discharged me saying that I had constipation, which was not the truth. Uh, she wasn't happy with my use of, of cannabis. Uh, she said, I'm not gonna argue with about it before I was even able to get anything out of my mouth to say anything. Oh yeah, the bubbles are starting to come. I can, I can see it in the video. Um, and she said I was constipated, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. However, the surgeon called me last week and he's like, okay, the gallbladder surgeon, he's like, okay, we are gonna schedule you for September 27th. Uh, so we're going in, this gallbladder's got some issues, we gotta take care of this. So I'm not sure if they're just going in to scope it on the 27th or if they're going in to remove it if they see an issue. But I did have, a blockage and some swelling and I did have <laughs> scans to prove it as well as a witness. You know, my husband was there and saw the whole uh, and, and witnessing the thing. So it was kind of silly. I mean, I ended up getting treated like crap by my regular physician too, which really upset me. We are at about 170 degrees, so you can see a little bit of bubbles starting to form. Not as many as I want. So as you see more bu bubbles start to form, I personally don't want to let this mixture go over 250 degrees. I do want it to be live, um, but I don't want to burn it. Because <laughs> you, can, you can easily burn this type of solution. Because when that ever clear really starts to evaporate, it really evaporates quickly. I know, I feel like I'm really short now because I'm on my knees. <laughs> How did that go? I'm on my knees barefoot in the kitchen, but I'm not pregnant. So I'm sitting at about 170 degrees now. We have a few more, we have a bit more bubbles, especially on the deeper end on this side. I don't know if you guys can really see it too much. So good. Hey Julie, how are you? Oh, I don't know if I can stay on my knees though, it hurts. So basically I just want to watch this mixture and make sure that nothing bad happens. 
Uh, if you do too much at this particular point in time, you can cause a pretty good explosion and fire. Also, please keep in mind, if you are running a gas stove, do not use it. Please. Uh, it is not a safe decision. Personally, I would, I would prefer a little toaster oven that I can put on an extension cord and take it out to the desert so that we, if I do end up with a fire, I can quickly contain it. However, I do have fire extinguishers here in the kitchen with me just in case. Safety first. So I'm at about 190 degrees. We are picking up on our bubbles quite a bit. We have a lot of little, once the bubbles start happening, they'll grow up liquid. So you've got to watch and make sure it doesn't throw it up too high where it's going to land on that top burner. If you're using the top burner. Right now, I am only using the bottom burner, so I have it dropped way down. You don't feel the best one? Sorry. I feel your pain. I need to get a chair, however, because I can't do that. So basically, all I do, that's a little better, all I do is take and fill a plastic container with a lid. Hi Dennis, how are you? Hey William, how are you? Um, that I can seal tight. Then I fill it with Everclear. Well, I fill it to about here with Everclear. Then I can clean out my oil banners in here. I can clean out the little plastic sheets that I get from local dispensaries that you guys have seen me do reviews on, these little sheets. I can clean all of those off in this little container. We have a little um, e-pen. I clean all of that off. We switch them out. Um, those get cleaned off in here. So I then accumulate that oil, oil every month, and then once a month I boil the water, the Everclear off, which will leave the oil on the wax paper. Uh, if I can speak, I will write all of the, the instructions up for you guys. Uh, it is kind of a cool little way of doing it. I have been able to reclaim up to about eight grams of oil doing it this way every month so it isn't as strong of an oil but it is a hybrid of sorts uh, because it has all of this different stuff in it it has sativa hybrids and it has indica hybrids as well as straight sativas and straight indicas which we don't get too much of right now um and i find that this really helps me throughout the day when I'm trying to be creative, I'm trying to stay out of pain, I can take some of this because it's live and I can just eat it if I want to. I can put it in a capsule and swallow it. I can freeze it like you've seen me do with my RSO. I wouldn't take a full gram of it, however, at one time unless you really want to sleep for a little while. I might try that once, I'm kind of curious. Um, but this process usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes. If you guys have any questions, I will be happy to answer them with this process. If there's something you guys want to know, ask me the question. I will be happy to answer them. This is just one way that I use to save money throughout the month because it can get expensive. With only one of us working, yeah, it is, it is awesome for edibles. Uh, like, I will use some of this in dinner tonight. Um, so I'm going to teach, well, I'm going to do a dinner infusion tonight of a meatloaf. Um, and I'm going to use some of this to do it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do it here on Facebook or if I'm going to do it on YouTube yet. But, um, yeah, we're going to infuse tonight's dinner with the oil that we're making here today. To kind of make it, just so that people can see how I'm doing this and able to. Um, I'm not sure exactly why I've been getting some flack online about buying my own cannabis. 
Um, but yes, I do. I buy my own cannabis. Um, in some cases, some people do donate to us for the reviews. Um, but for the most part, I do buy my own cannabis when it comes out of local dispensaries. Just so we are clear on that. Yes, yes. So do you guys have any ways that you guys clean out your rigs that you can recycle the oil? Just curious if you guys are able to do this. Have you tried doing this at home before? Has it worked? Has it not worked? Do you have any tips? We are at about 194 degrees now. And it is slowly getting down there. I don't know, can you guys see the little... Hmm. Yeah, so this has a little uh, red, infrared, that it will sit and take the temperature from here, which is really kind of cool. We are now at 203 degrees in that oven. Or at least in that mixture. Again, I personally, at this point in time, don't want to go over 250 degrees because I don't. I want it live, but I don't want it burnt. So I'm going to keep a very close eye on these temperatures, especially in the shallower ends just because I really don't want to burn any of this. And as you can see from just what it, what's in the oven, it's a golden brown. It is pretty clear at this particular point in time, but there is still quite a bit of Everclear in there to boil off, but it is boiling. And I'll take some pictures to show you. take my hair off. And then remember when you're infusing, um, whatever the dish is that you're infusing, you must have uh, fat in it. Without a fat, it's, it's hard to infuse. So please understand that doing like brownies or anything like that, infusing your butter is always the easiest and best way of doing it or infusing your oil. Those are fats that you can use. Um, with using concentrate like this, as long as it's already live, I'm gonna put it in with my avocados, mash it in really good. Um, I haven't decided, I'm thinking of freezing it. Just overnight, um, because we have a super fast cool, cool down freezer. Um, and from everything that I've heard, if your, your wax isn't fully live or getting it below a certain degree Celsius, we'll liven it as well. And that is an easier way without burning your oil to do it. Hi, Sammy. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask.
Don't forget to go check out my YouTube channel where we do all of our reviews, or I do all of my reviews live. Um, outtakes and all. If I mess up, they're all live. So I haven't figured out yet if I'm going to start editing those or keep them live. I think I like the live idea better so that way, I mean, it's more natural, it's real, and that's really what this channel is about, is the real usages of cannabis. Some of the things I like to talk about is that, that, you know, how cannabis helps me in particular with different things like cancer, depression, uh, chronic pain, chronic nausea, um, interstitial cystitis, ulcerative colitis, and those kinds of things. How does this cannabis actually help me? What kind of drugs does it keep me off of through Big Pharma that I'm actually getting healthier? And that is the ultimate goal here, I believe, for all of us, is healthier. Um, my channels are all about healthiness. It's about using cannabis in a re responsible, healthy atmosphere and way. Uh, I want people to understand that cannabis isn't a scary thing. It's not this horrible drug. It's pretty much the same as me walking over to my medicine cabinet and taking my antidepressants that are in there. So, and that's what cannabis needs to change. That's what the stigma stigma needs to change too is oh she's medicating not oh she's doing drugs um, and that's kind of where I like to have it so when we do the uh, strain reviews they are all live so that we guys get it completely true unfiltered in all its ugliness or glory that you get <laughs> YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button, like anything that you find on there, uh, comment on it. If you guys have questions, let me know. Um, I am putting the new post office box address up on the website today, but it is really simple, PO Box 40, Whitman, Arizona 85361. So if you have, you know, questions, something, you know, that you don't want to put into, um, an online chat or anything like that, write them down, send them to me to that post office box, that would be awesome. Uh, if you have a business or you have an idea and you want to have it featured, send me a shirt or something on it, tell me about it, um, and I'll open those, um, I'll open up everything out of the post office box once a month on a live. So, we are about three quarters of the way done. I know you can't really see because you're there, but we are about three quarters of the way done now. And you'll see where some of the cannabis resin will stick to the outside. As all of the fluid shrinks in, you'll see where there is a little bit of resin that comes through that'll be on the outside of these papers. Now, remember, if you don't boil all of the Everclear out of this, excuse me, um, it'll catch fire in your banger. So if you try to smoke it, you can. It will not be that healthy for you because you're, you don't want to smoke Everclear. So please make sure that you get as much of that, or get all of that Everclear boiled out, even if it does, because it will make it a darker brown color but you do want to make sure that you get all of that Everclear out. Especially if you're going to be smoking this. If you're going to be eating it, it's not as big of a deal, but it is important to get that out. My disclaimers for the day. Funny, funny, funny sometimes. I swear to God. People just don't understand when they try to come on here. I'm married and yeah, I'm not here to date. So I'm here to help you guys with some of your cannabis infusions, with some of your cannabis questions, but really I'm not here to date.
So this is basically how I make good mid quality concentrate that I can put into any edible or any dinner infusion and it will be amazing.
Now, most of the time, this comes out looking like RSO, which is a dark oil, a dark brown oil. Sometimes you get a dark greenish brown oil. Um, this one's kind of a goldish brown oil. Um, and right now, what I'm doing is moving the, the wax paper around as long as there's movement there's still Everclear in there. Once that movement stops, the Everclear will be gone and all you'll have left is the wax. Then you'll want to remove it to cool it. I haven't been on a live here in a while. I didn't notice that they put stickers in for you to be able to use. That's cute. Have they made it to where you can actually put pictures instead of the sticker, stickers or just the emoji stickers right now? Paper. 
message from plus 14 million seven hundred two million nine hundred twelve thousand five hundred seventy eight today on the smaller drop day. Twenty dollars bottom. Twenty five dollars. So now you are going if you watch. There's no movement. We do have all of the Everclear out. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and take this out. You don't even really have to take it out. Um, and then I'm going to take the whole sheet, fold it over. and put it directly in the freezer for about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna take it off the paper. So I'll see you guys later. Have fun, bye.